Alrighty guys, so this is the Q&A to end all Q&As, even though there will probably be a lot more Q&As. Yeah, let's get to the Q&A. If you haven't already, you need to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so you can get all these little updates when I do have them. In this q and I'm going to be answering everything in like the least sarcastic, douchebaggy manner. I'll try. <laughs> Can't guarantee anything though, guys. Uh, I the re the purpose for all these everybody is because I get the same questions over and over and over again, and I keep needing to like repurpose some because I get new subscribers. People ask the same questions. It's just just so we're clear right here, guys. These are the questions that get asked the most. What is your major in college? I am a communications major. I started as a business major and was in college for as as business for about three to three and a half years and then I had to go away to treatment for my eating disorder and then I came back home and decided I wanted to change my major to communications and I just didn't want to sit in a cubicle for the rest of my life. Not that all business majors do that, but just what I decided to do. Even though I have a video on this, why are you not fat? Science, everybody, science. Calories in versus calories out. If you have a basic understanding of nutrition and how the human body works, you're active. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I ride bikes and I also, well, I don't really ride bikes that much anymore, but I'm into lifting, I'm into the whole gym fitness scene, so uh, yeah, you can pretty much be healthy and do these sporadically. And by sporadically, I mean pretty infrequently for the average person. What is your favorite food? Now, this is one I always, 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 always answer in a sarcastic way. So I'm going to make this very unsarcastic. I have many favorite foods, everybody. I, I Even though I get this question a lot, um, it's hard for me to answer it completely in a non-sarcastic douchebaggery way. And there's a cute girl in my gym and she's walking out watching me talk to a camera right now. Damn it, she thinks I'm a bit more weird now. Fuck. Soink! <laughs> All right. Anyways, that was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought here. What was I even asked? Oh yeah, so my favorite food. You guys see me eat vegetables, fish, uh, pizza, potatoes, oatmeal, a lot of fucking oatmeal, uh, protein powder, oh gosh cereal believe it or not guys i don't think cereal is my favorite food of all time i don't think pizza is my favorite food of all time and believe it or not again during these cheat days and everything that i eat donuts and cupcakes and uh just a bunch of just yeah all that i don't really have a favorite food i would say like if i was on death row and i had to get one last meal to be like my go-to meal that the only thing i could have would be a gigantic pile of fish and chips. I fucking love fish and chips. I fucking love fish and chips. But they have to be authentic fish and chips, seriously. Will you ever compete with or collaborate with Matt Stoney or Furious Pete? Guys, these people live far away from me. Uh, they also have jobs as well and they have careers. People, uh, I can't really like go out of my full-time school situation and job and career and go straight to collab with them. Um, I've met Matt Stoney, awesome, awesome dude. Haven't met Furious Pete, but um, yeah, I mean, I I don't know. It might happen one day, but they're big in YouTube. I Well, I should say they're big on YouTube and uh, I'm just a pretty small channel compared to theirs. Which leads into the next question about me. Well, what is my job? I sold bikes in a bike shop for about three years and worked on the sales for, but was recently promoted to my company's digital media, um, well I should say being the digital media specialist for my bicycle company. So what I do is I do all of our videos, promotional stuff, and also do all of our social media as well. Another very, 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 very popular question is how many calories do I eat in a day? I think this is probably the, yeah, this is literally the most asked question. I was eating a stupid amount of calories for uh, I would say about a year. Uh, but I was also riding my bike for like three to four hours a day. Yeah, I was really not in the right mindset. Um, but yeah, guys, I it, it's eating is eating. Like once you start a meal and stop a meal, you're over. I'm in a little bit different of a mindset now where I just, you know, I like to, I still like to eat and everything, but uh, my calorie intake varies uh, depending on how much activity I do for the day. Uh, I would say if I were to like ballpark it right now, it probably would be, blah, 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 I can't talk, probably would be between 3,000 to 3,500 calories a day. But then again, if I'm riding a little bit more, sometimes I push it to 4,000. Really just depends. And no, I don't really track macros. As long as I'm lifting more weight, that's all I really give a shit about. Next question is, do I have a girlfriend? 
This one is pretty straightforward and I'm just gonna do this as Singles Awareness Day comes up, AKA Valentine's Day and say I do not. Nor do I plan on having one because I'm, I don't know, people just find it weird or find me weird that I just like to post videos on YouTube of me eating. I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I whine too much about being single. I'm probably gonna get that a lot in the comments. Maybe I smell funny. Or maybe what just happened is people keep seeing me. Cute girls in my gym just keep seeing me film myself with my camera in my car, and that's probably what keeps them away. I don't know, everybody. I'm gonna get to some of your specific questions later on. I'm gonna go to class. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, what's up again, guys? Another highly asked question is, Eric, how much do you weigh? I do not weigh myself, and actually haven't weighed myself in probably about three or four months now. Before you ask, after that, my height is five foot eight. But then again, I've always wondered why people really care about someone else's height. What is my favorite challenge I've ever done? I'm just gonna separate challenges from uh, cheat days here, guys, because it gets, just because it gets asked a lot. Again, uh, I would say my favorite ever challenge, I've answered this question a lot. Now I've eaten burger challenges, I've done pancake challenges, I've done a lot of challenges, pizza challenges. Probably my favorite ever challenge that I've ever done. I usually say when I get asked this question that it's the broken yolk, which is a breakfast challenge that I did as my first ever challenge. I'm gonna say for the record, even though the habanero patties really hit me hard, because I'm a little bitch when it comes to spicy food, um, the Oink and Moo Lankinator Challenge, which is now named after me, was my favorite challenge I've ever done. Simply for the fact that this tower of patties the Tower of Patties, I should say, uh, just made the burger look just super epic. I mean, and the fact that I got to name it after myself, so that was pretty cool. Now, uh, the recovery process from that was probably one of the worst I've ever had to go through. Another question I get asked is, how often do you work out? What do your workouts look like? And, well, I usually get asked if I even lift, but... Yeah. The answer to this is I actually have my full workout routine well, now uh, on my Eric Talks channel. So it is in the bio of every single video that I post on my main channel here. So if you are curious about that, go check it out. As I said earlier in the video, I don't really ride as much as I used to. So kind of separating cycling from actual training. My training routine is in the bio. Just go check it out if you're curious. And of course this question had to come up. Eric, are you vegan? The answer to this is no everybody, I am not a vegan. I do eat a predominantly plant-based diet and that's just because if I didn't, I would be hungry as hell. Either that or I'd be fat as hell because I'd be, yeah, I would just be consuming stupid amounts of calories and yeah. That's just the way it has to be for me. At this point, guys, it's a good thing I love vegetables because 80 to 90% of my diet consists of broccoli, um, cauliflower, uh, insert any sort of vegetable here. There's like very few vegetables that I actually eat in this world. Um, and then now, I mean, I do consume meat in the form of fish. I don't really go out and buy chicken or red meat or anything like that with the exception of the last review I just did. If you haven't seen it already, uh, go check that one out. But yeah, most of my food intake for the most part is going to be based around fruit and vegetables, despite what everybody seems to think. For some reason, everybody goes on uh, these, you know, these cheat day videos that I do, or any of my normal challenges, and they make this assumption that I eat nothing but crap and live on Twix bars and M&Ms and Skittles, and sorry, but that's not really true. Another question I'm getting asked pretty frequently is what my actual setup looks like for filming, for um, my editing, everything that I do, and here it is. This monster is what I use for most of my, I guess, um, still shots with the exception of this one which is being filmed on my Sony RX Mark IV. Um, and yeah, so this is the Canon 70D with a Sigma lens. Now, I really, really love the Canon 70D. I've been starting to take more pictures with it. And um, yeah, I bought it really just to do video, but yeah, taking pictures is something I'm starting to get more interested in. Now, uh, the Sigma lens is a new purchase that I just made about two months ago. And this is pretty much, uh, this is something that I would recommend to anybody that has a DSLR. Um, that wants to do more content on their YouTube channel is get a quality lens. Quality, quality, quality. Now I have this one right here, which is an 18 to 35 millimeter range. And it also, the uh, f-stop is a, it's, an, it's a 1.8 I believe. So this is something that I would recommend. It's an investment everybody. So 
I mean, it's pretty, I hope it's common knowledge by now that if you're going to, uh, you know, get a camera and you want good quality, just be, pre bleh, be prepared to pay for a good lens. Because usually a good lens is going to cost more than the body. I'm speaking very generally there, but you get the idea. Now this was the first camera that I ever started out with. This is the Canon G7X, very first version. Now, unfortunately, I dropped this and it still works. It just doesn't open all, all the way, unfortunately. So that is my, or I should say was my first vlogging camera. Now, I actually like this more than what I'm using right now, which is the Sony ARX. Uh, Mark IV, R RX100 I should say, just because this one, I just, well I love Canon, I love Sony, but Canon just, this is like the vlogging camera everybody, like, no questions asked, for price, for everything, um, this just, this beats out the Sony stuff, um, and then next we have the Sony RX100, which I'm using obviously to film this right now, which I'll be putting in the corner of the screen, that's it for the cameras. And this is what I use to do most of my ride footage, now unfortunately, my mount broke on my bicycle, so I have to, yeah, get a new one. But this is the uh, GoPro, I believe this is the uh, Hero 4 Session. Yeah, mess that one up. That's what I use for on bike footage. And this is my studio right here. This is my baby. This is the iMac uh, Retina 5K. 27-inch uh, display. Now I have this maxed out. Well, not completely maxed out with 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I use a uh, just one terabyte external hard drive, and then um, yeah, basic keyboard and mouse right there. I did just get this. I showed you guys in a vlog. I think like a few months ago. Um, I got that one, and uh, I don't even know what it's called, what model it is, but it's a dope ass keyboard. And then my uh, gaming mouse right here. Ooh, I just turned it on. Whoa. I won't even bother mentioning this just because this needs to just go away. Yeah, that just needs to go away. How often do I watch myself on camera? Well, I have been known to, you know, reflect on older videos. All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, 10 years, I don't cry a lot, so. Uh, yeah, it's kind of different. I really didn't expect to start out this video the way it is, so. Um, yeah, I'll spare the details right now, but, um, you know, it's everybody, I, I pretty much put my life on YouTube. I guess you could consider this my healthiest food challenge yet. What is going on guys? Coming back to you guys again with another video and of course another challenge. A new video has surfaced of a reporter trying to take on Tour de France diet which equates to almost 8,000 calorie challenge. Stay tuned for it guys. Just wrong. We all gotta start somewhere, I guess, right? Does the Garmin 1000 or 520 count calories when the bike is rolling, but you're not actually cycling? This is why I just don't buy into trying to measure your caloric expenditure. Just estimate and move on. <laughs> Sorry, on a scale of one to rich homie, how cool is Travis S? So Travis S is the man. If you guys haven't already subscribed to his channel, it's actually really funny that I did get this question on Snapchat because I got my package from PES today and I had to show my boy Travis some love. Snickerdoodle. That's it right there. I have to give a big shout out to my boy, Mr. Travis S. What is my dream car? I always like to say I don't have a dream car, but I think everybody has a dream car in their minds. And uh, for me, I would always love to have a 1960s Dodge Charger. I'm an OG Gran Turismo player. Come on, what can I say? What's your favorite song? Right now? Who is your favorite competitive eater on YouTube to watch? Believe it or not, everybody, I don't watch a lot of competitive eating or eating in general on YouTube. Believe it or not, just really uh, boring. I don't know, but I do it. If I were to pick one though, I would say that just due to entertainment, just because he's been in the game for a long time, my boy, Nader Rita, is my favorite competitive eater on YouTube to watch. And he's really, really cool, really cool. What are your go-to drinks when you do food challenges? Uh, I used to be really big into Powerade Zero, but I always just go back to the best thing ever, Diet Pepsi, caffeine free. Or I also like Squirt as well. But it really just depends on the challenge. If I'm doing something that's gonna be salty, um, I definitely have to have some sort of diet soda involved. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it's something, well recently when I just did the Vermont, I found out that it's really good to have hot cocoa. Just something hot when you're doing something extremely cold in stupid amounts. When you don't do videos, what do you normally do? Um, Pretty much just doing more videos and going to work and going to school. I'm very, very boring. It's probably why I'm single. Man, hold on guys, I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna get some dinner.
they call me the cauliflower master and a culinary genius as well. All right, everybody, and the last question that I'll be addressing for this Q&A is what are my top three favorite bands right now? Alrighty guys, I just wanna say thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys do tune into these, uh, ask me these questions, and uh, yeah, I really like doing these. I try to get one out usually once a month as, you know, or you know, as often as I can, just because I know I do get new subscribers. Of course, everybody, follow my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go right, Mike. Is this the part where I can say the fitness joke? Fitness? Fitting this whole cupcake in my mouth. Let's go again. Hey.